I think that science and faith, um, you know, do have somewhat of an adversarial relationship in that faith is based, as the name suggests, on faith. You, you're not testing anything. You are given the answers in a book or by your elders, and it's about accepting those answers. Whereas science is about always asking questions. It's, it's about testing things. It's about uh, assembling evidence and saying, you know, do we come down on this side of the argument or the other side? And so I think there's always going to be some tension there. Now, that said, I think it's possible for people to have religious beliefs and still believe in evolution and, you know, the genetic details that we're discussing in, in the lectures that I give and the books and films and everything else we do as part of the Genographic Project. Um, I would like people, I suppose, you know, if you're talking in particular about the Judeo-Christian story, the story in the Bible, Book of Genesis, perhaps to see that as a metaphor, you know, and, and if you see Genesis as a metaphor, the story is actually not that different from the one we're telling using the genetics. The idea is that we all come from a common source. We trace back to a few people living in a particular location in the world. You can call it Philadelphia or East Africa or the Garden of Eden, wherever you want to place it. I mean, the genetic evidence is that we come out of Africa, that is our scientific Garden of Eden, and we scatter to the wind. You know, the, we are the descendants of that small group of people living in that, that one particular location. Um, and so, you know, it's not that different from the story in Genesis. Now, the Judeo-Christian story is not the only one. And there are lots of creation stories. Every group around the world has some kind of a story that explains its existence. And, you know, it's probably something inherent in human beings that, you know, makes them want to provide answers. And science is one way of answering that question. Faith is another way of answering it in traditional stories. And so, you know, we, we do sometimes come into conflict to a certain degree with traditional stories, traditional notions of creation, the idea that people have been living in the same location forever, you know, that they were created de novo out of the earth or out of the animals that live there, song lines in Australia, people being created out of gowanas or witchetty grubs or whatever it is. Um, and, you know, you have to say that, yes, of course you have this particular, you know, attachment to the location, the geographic location where you live, and that's very strong. And, you know, in the case of Australia, you've been here for 50,000 years, longer than Europeans have been living in Europe. But in addition, you have a deeper connection, just as everybody else does around the world, to our ancestors all the way back in Africa. And so we'd like to see the stories that we're telling using science as complementary to the stories that people are taught by their elders. Not as a replacement, but as a complement to the traditional notions of where people came from.